Today I'm going to show you five big mistakes that women over 50 make when applying makeup to mature skin. Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel for women over 50. And if you're a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video and they're all relate to you. Today I'm going to talk about makeup mistakes that we make as mature women and it's very, very easy to correct. This side I've done with the mistake side and this side I've done in a way that's way more flattering for mature women. It's not hard, I've broken it down into easy steps and all you have to do is follow along and just by knowing these makeup tips is going to make a big difference to the way that you look. This will be my mistake eye and this will be the correct eye. First thing I'm going to do is just put some eyeshadow on my lids and I'm just using a basic color. This is the Morphe palette and I'm just going to cover my eyelids. Do the whole base in a light color and this isn't about eyeshadow, this is about a few techniques. So I'm just going to add a cut in a bit of a crease here to give me a little bit of definition and I'm using this color here. I'm just cutting in the crease here and that's all I'm doing and underneath my eyeshadow I put an eyeshadow primer on and I've already got foundation on because I'm trying to save time for you and this is the Stila Hide and Chic. So I've applied this with a brush and I've buffed it all into my face and evened out my complexion. The first mistake that I'm going to show you that women make over 50, you know, who have mature eyes is the eyeliner. I'm going to show you the wrong way and the right way. The wrong way is expecting to apply eyeliner like a 20 year old. And I'm going to show you how to do that beautifully. Uh, and you are going to see what the difference is. So first of all, we're going to do a winged eyeliner, a beautiful winged eyeliner. I'm using the Sigma 11 brush with a black eyeshadow from the Morphe range. Ooh. So I'm going to take the eyeliner out and it's looking really good so far until I open my eyes and everything's dropping downwards. So young women can do this beautifully. Older women with mature skin and droopy eyes can't do it. I'm going to show you the right way to do it now and I've done a video on this and I'm just going to recap here but you take your finger and hold your eye inwards so you kind of pull it in a little bit and then we draw a line like that at the last lash. Don't go this way from the last lash and I've swapped to brown. This side's black and this side's a dark brown. It's this color here. Pull your eye in and then do the triangle like I showed you before and make a triangle and then fill that triangle in. That's what it looks like so far. And we're going to go all the way to the center of the eye. And we're going to stop there. So can you see how this eye is lifted and this eye is coming down? It's the same eyeshadow, the same brush. It's just a different technique. This is for young women and this is for mature women. Now the second mistake that we make is going all the way in to the corner of your eye with the eyeliner. And I'm going to apply it now, but we're not going to see the mistake now. We're going to see the mistake in a little while. I'll come back, but I'm going to show you that the wrinkles here inside of your eye, in the inner corner of your eye, on your eyelid, get mixed with the eyeliner and it cakes up and creases and it looks terrible. And you may not realize this is happening to you, particularly if you're not looking in a 10X mirror like I am. And I'll just show you what I mean. So that would be putting your eyeliner all the way in. I do love doing it like this, but 
it creases every single time if you've got wrinkles on your eyelid and it's kind of okay now let me show you though the right way to do it so I'm using brown on this eye again okay so this eye is how you do a mature eye you don't go all the way into the corner here and if you're like me you're going to have some loose skin like this on your eyelids when you bring the eyeliner all the way in which I love it looks great but I'll show you now you can see it's starting to crease there's no disaster yet but one is on its way I promise you let's move on I'll just put a curl in my lashes and some mascara I'm going to use the Thrive mascara just to lift my eyelashes a little bit and then we'll move to the next tip we're going to move to our lips now and I'm going to do my lips the wrong way and the right way the wrong way is to overline your lips all the way out to the side and this gives us old lady mouths I'll show you what I mean if you're going to line your lips and take it all the way following along your lip line that is lined all the way along my actual lips and this side I'm going to stop just before the corner of my lips and I'm going to bring my line inwards I'm not going to line this part of my lips here okay I'll show you what I mean can you see the difference here I haven't gone all the way out to the corner of my mouth this side I have gone all the way to the corner and then I'm going to top it with a lipstick Charlotte Tilbury this is Angel Alessandra and I'm going to color it in and on this side I'm just going to make sure not to go out to those corners I'll put a bit of gloss and that's the finished look so if I cut my face in half you can see this side compared to this side it's a subtle difference and as the day goes on this side is going to bleed into the lines in the corner of my mouth and it kind of detracts from my mouth altogether so this side I like much better it's a much nicer look for mature women and it's soft so I think you should try it the next big mistake that we make with mature skin is not buffing our foundation into our neck area it doesn't look nice and I see it so often so I just wanted to show you how to do it properly and I've already got foundation on but I'm going to show you what can be done so if you put your foundation on this is such a beautiful foundation and it's so lovely but if you put your foundation on and don't rub it in here you're going to get a line and it looks terrible so always make sure every single time that you grab a brush and you bring it down your neck because your neck and your face need to be one we don't want two things and it's kind of like you've got two shapes on your face and it's not all connected so we want to blend it all in every single time that you do your makeup and you never ever ever forget this step so take it down the neck and if you're wearing something low cut take it all the way down and just blend it out into your chest as well because we want everything to be seamless not a face a neck and a chest and particularly if you tan or fake tan and your face is a different color to your body you don't want to stop it here because it's all going to be wrong so just grab a brush this is just a kabuki brush by Sigma and bring it all down and you're good to go and don't make the mistake of not doing anything with your eyebrows they're so important for shaping your face and your eyebrows are going to shape the top of your face and get everything perfectly put together so this is a benefit precision brow I love this with the pointy end number two 
for blondes and take your eyebrows in to the correct measurement so from the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye and that's where you start the corner of your nose to your pupil is the tip where you peek up and then the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye is the end of your eyebrow So you fill in the dots and create the perfectly shaped eyebrow for your eye because we're all different. But if you follow these measurements, you are going to have the perfect measurements for your face. They don't have to be too intense at all. There's a spoolie on the end, brush them up. Get rid of the dot <laughs> and that side's done. And you can see on this side, it just needs something. For me, it needs to come in a lot further. Have a look. It needs to come into here. And when I bring that eyebrow out, my face looks so much more in proportion because I have an uneven face. This really helps. But I'm going to leave it because this is the wrong side. The last step on your face to add a youthful touch to mature skin is to add a beautiful blush to make your skin look like it's just been flushed. And I'm using the Benefit California. This is a really nice color. I'm going to show you the wrong way first. And the wrong way is to smile and put it on the apples of your cheek. And you've probably heard that you can do it this way. I'm going to show you what happens. If I smile, and put it on the apples of my cheek. I'm going to look like a granny. I can show you. Because when I stop smiling and I go to normal, this is sitting down here because my skin has dropped. And this is great if you're young and your skin is very, very taut. But as you're getting older, you can see where you smile, it drops. And we don't want that. The better way to do blush for mature skin is to find your cheekbone and feel it. Okay, when you get to the end of it, that part there, that bone, that's where you're going to want to add a little bit of blush. Start slow and add more as you go. Okay, this is really important with blush. You don't want to add too much. And on that bone, just add a little bit, just a touch. Even on this part of the brush, because you don't want to add too much. Just a little bit, feel the bone a little bit and take it up. And this is going to give you just a gentle flush instead of a, whoa, I've got a lot of blush on today, how are you? <laughs> and then just keep buffing it out. You don't want to have marks and lines on your blush, just keep blending in and buffing out. That's just giving me a really soft flush. It's very age appropriate. It's not over the top and it's perfect for mature skin. Plus on top of that, it's lifted my face and this has dragged my face down. Everything on this side is dragging my face down. My eyeliner is bringing the attention down. My blush is sort of sitting down here. It's not in the right quadrant of my face. It needs to be more up here and it's down here. This, if you're looking close, you can start to see that it's starting to go into those lines. And I've only been talking for not so long and it's already happened. But this side is up. So my eyeliner with that little eyeliner trick has lifted my eye and it's not too much. Coming in to the inner corner of my eye, it's fresh. It's not looking like this. This side is starting to crease. I can already see it because I've already got creasing there. So adding the eyeliner to it is making it more accentuated. And this is lifting my face up compared to this. And this is more soft and ladylike compared to this. And my foundation is all blended in just the way it's meant to. I really hope you enjoyed those makeup tips today for mature skin. Keep in mind, we don't have to be over the top and we don't have to pack on the makeup. We just need gentle makeup, 
to soften our look, to even out our complexion and to highlight our good bits. So highlight our eyes, highlight our lips to add color and some color to the cheek. And it's not difficult. Just do a few simple things and you're going to get it right. And let me know if you'd like me to do a tutorial on this hairdo because you should have seen it just before I started. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.